So I'm starting off today with a little bit of Tiny Bahama SPF, and that's going to go all over my face. And next up is a little bit of Tarte Clean Slate Primer. And at the moment, this is my most favorite, and I am almost out of it. Boo. Um, yay, Nars Sheer Glow. I finally picked that up. I have to say I really do like it. But I think this is going to be more of a winter foundation for me, and I'll talk about that later. Using a Real Technique sponge, by the way. A little bit of wax through my eyebrows, um, because I'm going to use a new brow palette that I got from Pixie. Pixie is available at Target, if you don't know that already. This brow palette is awesome. Look at the different colors in it. So um, I'm using the second darkest shade, and I'm going to put that through my brows, and then I'm going to come back into a lighter shade for the front part of my eyebrow. Actually, not that one. <laughs> it was the one next to it. I think I accidentally cut that part out. Anyway, just a natural sort of fill today. Then all over my lid, I'm going to start with a little bit of soft ochre paint pot, and that's going all over. And then I'm going to follow that up with a little bit of this paint pot, which was a limited edition. It's called Stroke My Ego, and that's going all over the lid. Then I'm going to set uh, underneath my eyebrow with a little bit of that matte shade from the Pixie Eyebrow Palette. Oh, melt gun metal stack. It is pretty amazing. So I'm going to show you the uh, eyeshadows in this stack. This one obviously is called Industrial. I really like these. They are so pretty and the shimmers are just awesome in my opinion. I really like this brand a lot. Thank you again Vanda by the way. She's my melt fairy godmother. Uh, We're going to go ahead and start with Assimilate <clears throat> and that brush is amazing. Um, that is from a company called Blank Canvas. That is the, I believe it's the E10 socket brush. I, I, I love it. I do. I'm going to say it. I love this brush. It is awesome. Um, it's perfect for my eyes. Um, I actually just got another one and am putting in an order for a third brush as well. I reach for this brush quite often now. But um, as you can see, um, I'm kind of starting in this outer corner, creating a V, and then slightly going through my crease with that color using the, the um, blank canvas brush. And now we're going to use Industrial. This is going to go in the center part of the lid. And I'm just going to pack that on with a MAC 242 brush. And because it is a little bit of a shimmer shadow, I will, you know, you'll get some fall down. So I'm just blocking my cheek area. Then I'm going to go back in with a little bit more Assimilate just through the crease. I like to do this a lot when I'm uh, putting on eye makeup just to make sure that everything looks nicely blended. And then a little bit of Harsh Stone White. This is going to go in the inner corner and then I'm going to blend it over the top of Industrial just to have a nice sort of gradient effect. I don't know what the heck. When I was editing this, I obviously wasn't paying attention, but anyway, as you can see, I'm trying to apply some tape so that I can make a wing. And I'm going to use Dark Matter from the Dark Matter stack because this is like the blackest black. I didn't want to use uh, gel or liquid, so I just stuck with an eyeshadow for this part. But I wanted the line to stay nice and clean, so that's why I chose to use the tape. So I have the liner on. You can see the liner, but it's a softer look I think. So I used a little bit of my Pixie Peach Corrector in the uh, under eye area and then my MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer and then I'm just setting it just kind of my normal routine. That is my go-to powder when I'm out of that I'm definitely replacing it. Then I'm going to take some of the um, this is the Girl on Meteorites my friend Beth sent that to me and then mascara. <laughs> Boring part. I'm going to go into my Revolution or Makeup Revolution Contour Palette and I'm just going to use that shade just to bronze up. I like a little bit more of an ashier toned uh, bronzer. So this one's not bad. I actually really like this palette quite a bit. And I'm going to go back in and use one of the highlight shades. And I like that one a lot too. I like the highlights in these palettes because they're a little more on the subtle side. And then lips, that is from Essence. It is called Almost Real. It is a liquid lipstick. And I really, really like it. Um, for liner, I used a little bit of um, 
this, I don't know why I just said little bit. I used an Ulta lip liner in Flesh, and it goes perfect with this uh, liquid lipstick. But I wanted to try another lip liner to go with it, and um, I don't know if you guys remember, I used to use this all the time, Rock and Rose lip liner from Jordana. That one was my go-to for a really long time. So I decided to kind of go over the top just to see what it would look like. I do prefer the um, Ulta lip liner. And then hair, just a high pony. Uh, nothing fancy as usual, but just a quick uh, look at the eyes. I really, really, really like the stack a lot. I, I just like melt all around. I think their eyeshadows are amazing. So just a quick, easy look for today. Nothing over the top. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.